Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mouse Hat Games, and it is good to be back making a Logic World video after a bit of a break. So for a long time in Logic World, there's been a, a kind of assumption that the code makes, that once a component is placed, then it has a certain number of inputs and a certain number of outputs, and that never changes. Inputs and outputs uh, pegs are never created nor destroyed. Now, at first blush, that may seem like a reasonable assumption for the code to make, and it certainly helped keep the code tidy, but it's led us into some kind of awkward scenarios, like, um... Like for displays, we needed to have uh, six different display types just for the different number of pegs. And that kind of sucks, right? So this week I've refactored uh, a bunch of code, and now components can have their inputs and outputs uh, change numbers. So uh, uh, just as a quick demo of things, I have this panel display here. The same component that you just saw with six different variations. And if I hit a hotkey while looking at it, Boom, look, it's gaining and losing inputs, the number is changing, that's crazy. Um, and it, it works just fine, um, like if there's wires attached to the input, if the number changes, then uh, the wires stay attached. Uh, yeah, there, just to show you some more. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty major rewrite of code, um, required a lot of changes, a lot of refactoring. But it pretty much works now, and I'll be like properly integrating it with things so we have a nice UI to choose how many inputs the display has and stuff. And I also have a couple new, very sexy, very cool components planned that would not really work unless they were able to change the number of inputs after being placed. So, cool videos coming up, cool Logic World development coming up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.